Thank you so much for staying with us. And as promised, we said our top story would be taking a look at President Goodluck Jonathan's media chat that was held last night. We do have a guest who will be joining us, but something different. Our barrister, Achike Chude, will be joining us from um, Abuja, where he is on some very special secret assignment or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I, he, I was talking to him. He's making it feel like 007. I said, no problem. Wow. Keep your secrets, you know. But he will, of course, be joining us and be sharing his thoughts on the president's speech um, not speech, his chats yesterday. Uh, he did give like a brief opening when the president came on. Then well, it, questions quickly moved. It did into feel issues. it did feel like a speech at times. He really was given the floor. ample space. Yeah, to you know say what he wanted to say. All right, so we're making connections with Achike Chude, but a quick uh, reminder, if I don't know, maybe you've been living under a rock in the past 24 hours. The president sat down with some journalists, and the issues came up, of course, involving uh, the Chibok girls, the postponement of Nigeria's elections from February 14th to March 28th, as well as the fight against Boko Haram, uh, which the military has told us can be won in six weeks, which many people are questioning has not been won in a number of years. Uh, he was also asked about his confidence or lack thereof in Professor Ataheri Jagad, the head of INEC, and so many other issues came up. So we have asked you to also share your thoughts on Twitter with us at Jim and S Cool TV, and you can also go to facebook.com forward slash Cool TV Nigeria to also join the discussion. And we'll be opening up the phone lines after we talk to Achike for you to also share your thoughts. All right, uh, Barrister Achike Chude, are you with us? Yes, I am. Oh, great to have you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Good morning. All right. So since you refuse to tell us what you're doing in Abuja, let's go straight to um, our discussion. Now, uh, the presidential media chat yesterday kicked off with the president uh, talking about the postponed elections. And he said he was seeking the understanding of the international community over the postponement of the elections and said the kind of scenarios where elections are postponed for the sake of perpetuating power was not the case in Nigeria. Now, this is his first... I guess we'd say, like, somewhat official statement since uh, last week, Saturday, when Professor Ataheru Jaga uh, announced that the elections would be postponed. Do you think this adequately answers the questions Nigerians have about the postponement? Well, um, it was good to hear from uh, the, the president. Um, <clears throat> it was good because, of course, uh, before now, there had been all kinds of uh, speculations and then uh, suspicions about uh, the intent or non-intent of uh, the president to... Uh, either I want to conduct an election or want to conduct the election, and uh, if uh, elections are conducted, does he want to hand over and so on? So all of these uh, speculations, you know, they are quite dangerous. You know, can be. Uh, you know, it, it was important that the president uh, also weigh, you know, weighed in on the issue during uh, this uh, media chat. And of course, you know that uh, this media chat is one of the most important uh, media chats in the life of uh, this uh, presidency, uh, because it is coming, in, you know, hot in the heels of a campaign uh, to either keep him in Asorok or to remove him from Asorok, I mean, from Asorok, from the villa as president of uh, this country. So he was expected to actually be on top of uh, uh, the game. And uh, well, he has, he has said, you know, a few things. And uh, for those who believe him, he douses a lot of uh, tension in the land. Uh, he says that um, he has no intention of sacking the Jaga because that, you know, has filled the rumor mill in the country and uh, caused a lot of uh, disquiet. If you remember the statement by the American uh, 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 government, uh, they said that they had noted, uh, you know, with care the interference you know, with uh, the independence of INEC, you know, by uh, the government and that they deplored that kind of uh, interference and so on. So I think the president was speaking to uh, two, two sets of people. He was talking to the local community here in Nigeria, try to, you know, douse tension in the land that uh, he has noble intentions with regard to the conduct of this uh, election and to uh, Nigeria's international uh, partners, uh, you know, foreign countries that uh, they also had no cause uh, to be alarmed because uh, the uh, election is, uh, uh, you know, on course. I think to some extent it goes a long way in uh, dousing some of the tension in the country. But uh, okay. uh, Nigerians, uh, uh, I, I think they've earned the right to be pessimistic, you know, because for 50-something years things have not really worked in this country. Uh, a lot of people are still going to remain cautious. And, uh, you, you, know, if, you know, even though uh, the president has spoken, and that, there's a history for that. President who makes statements, especially with regards to handover of power. 
okay. and so on, ultimately at the end of the day, Rene Jean, right, from the military period till now. Barrister, you know, speaking of Jega, um, President Goodluck Jonathan, he blames... Sorry, sorry, can you be a I little bit louder? Speaking of Jega, you mentioned, um, President Goodluck Jonathan, he blamed um, some of his supporters for... Um, sorry, is it not Jega that's meant to? Pardon? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Okay, Go okay. Ahead. Um, Barrister, I was saying, you know, speaking of Jega... Hello, I'm struggling to hear you. Oh, okay. we're seeming to have some problems. Okay, I can hear you now. Okay. Barrister, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, that's good. I said, speaking of Jagger, um, President Goodluck Jonathan, he blamed some of his supporters for spreading what he said um, was rumours that he wanted um, Jagger to resign. He also, you know, he blamed the media for writing what he said were stories that were not true. And he also blamed um, associates of um, political actors for hate speeches. So it, was, it seemed like a bit of a blame game. Do you think there was anything President Goodluck Jonathan should have personally taken responsibility for during the media chat? Well, I mean, when the, when the former president, military uh, president, Ibrahim Babangida, announced the June 12th uh, you know, uh, election, seen to be uh, 1993 election uh, said to be then the fairest and freest election in the history of this country. He took blame, you know, because I, I remember he said there are so many mitigating factors, so many things responsible for the decision to annul that election, but he recognizes the fact that the box stops at his table and that he bears, you know, primary responsibility for the annulment of uh, that uh, election. Uh, you know, so uh, this is what is expected of leadership. A leadership, a leader, you know, is, is giving unique opportunities to make a difference in whatever organization, especially in the life of a country. So when all is not well in, in the country, there's somebody primarily that is responsible, whether it has to do with security, whether it has to do with conduct of elections, <coughs> and so on and so forth. The man who is in charge, who has been put in place, you know, takes the flag. Of course, there are other levels of responsibility, apportioning blames and so on. I think it's normal. But a leader must also accept that he is, is the primary responsibility to provide you know, certain conditions for a better society. And so when that fails, like I said, in the area of security, any other aspect of uh, you know, the country, he must also take, be bold enough and courageous enough to take responsibility. Let yes, there are so many other, let me, let yeah, there so many other actors in, you know, in, in the field, the politicians and the rest, the media. All of these people have also contributed to the tension in the land. But mm -hmm. look, the, the reality is that, you know, uh, there is a history, there is a trajectory, you know, where Nigerians are coming from a particular uh, circumstance in the history of this country where uh, what a political leader says is different from what it does. And so we have seen it over, over the years. Nigerians have a right to be very, very suspicious, to speculate, because it ends up putting pressure on those people who are in power to realize that people do not trust them. So the only way they can gain the trust of the people is not by it's not through what they say, but through what they do. Barrister yes, Chike, now, you made, yeah. Barrister, you made mention of the issue of responsibility and the president's understanding that the buck stops at his table. Now, he spoke about the fact that he has not spoken to Jaga, he has not told anybody that he will remove Jaga, but that if he chooses to do so, he has the constitutional power. Now, this created somewhat of a fur on social media and with legal, um, with legal analysts as well. Does the president of Nigeria solely have the power to remove the INEC chairman if he so wishes, according to the Electoral no, Act of 2010? No, no I, 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 do, I, I do not think so, because, you know, there is a process that led to his appointment mm -hmm. as, as uh, the INEC chairman. The president didn't, didn't just appoint him and he, you know, became, he had to go through a process through the involvement of uh, the National Assembly and so on and so forth. And if you remember the wise a uh, commission that was set up, I think, by the late President uh, Umar Riyaradua. Yeah. The essence was, you know, the essence was for political reforms and to make the, uh, the, the electoral, sorry, electoral reforms and to, to make the electoral uh, 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 reform uh, in tandem or move closer to international best practices and so on. And one of those things is to make the electoral body truly, truly independent of the influence of politicians, especially the government of the day. In, you know, that is why uh, the issue of charges to INEC uh, in terms of uh, revenues that should accrue to INEC and so on also has to go through the National Assembly. And there is a first-line charge 
you know, on uh, on monies that should be going to INEC, so that INEC is not does not become a victim of uh, of uh, you, you, you know is not a control that the whims and caprices of of the government and so on. So, but you see, people had the right to be consternated. They had the right to be worried by the president's uh, statement that he has the constitutional duty to remove uh, the INEC chairman because. Uh, if you remember the battle with the CBN governor, by the time the CBN governor, you know, the federal government moved against the CBN governor, there were those who said that the president did yeah. not have the right to do what he did at that particular okay. point in time. Barrister. But what they do, the culture of impunity in this country is that, look, they will tell you politicians will go to an election, deliberately rig that election, and then they tell you to go to court. Now, the court process might take two, three years. Meanwhile, an imposter is in government house, you understand, enjoying all the privileges of being a governor okay. until he's eventually removed from power. So if the president does that, for instance, and says he, he has the constitutional authority, who tells you that the reasons for which he's saying that he will not remove a Jaga might not change tomorrow. And he says, now I have sufficient reason to remove Jaga. And then when he does that, Jaga is removed out of office, from office, and then people are, are shouting, you have done in the wrong way. Meanwhile, confusion and anarchy is created within the society. Yeah. And Barrister, that could also lead to problems in Barrister. the Nigerian state. Yeah. Okay. You know, um, speaking of, you know, we've mentioned, we've touched upon responsibility. President Goodluck Jonathan, he did mention that he felt in the next few weeks this the Chibok girl situation um, would change for the better. But he also said that he shouldn't be quoted. Now, what do you make of that kind of statement? Do you think it's right to be able to say something that could, you know, make Nigerians feel very hopeful, but at the same time say, you know, I, if, if it doesn't happen in a way, you don't, you know, look to me for why well, it Well, I think the, 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 the media chat lasted for quite some time, and the president, so many questions were asked, and so many re different reactions from the president. Uh, some he did fairly well, some he did badly. And I, I think that this is one of the worst performances from the president. Really? Of course, you know that the Chibok issue is not just a Nigerian issue, it's like has become an international issue. And that the presidency of uh, Good Luck Jonathan is also gauged even on the basis of what happened to those girls in Chibok and the rest. If you remember how the international committee and everybody responded to the situation of the Chibok girls. And, and so you would expect a president that was more a forthright, a president that was more in charge, a president that, that came across during that interview as, as, as being on top of the game, a president that gave the impression that he is very much aware of everything that is going on with regards to the Chibo girls. Sadly to say, unfortunately, I did not see that in uh, Mr. President. What I saw was a president that was very tentative, a president that was indecisive, a president that was not in, in a position you know, to affirm, uh, you know, the, the commitment of the country to, to, towards rescuing those girls. All right, Master know, Chicken. These are the things I, I, I saw, and I was, like I told you, I was not impressed. It was as if, it was as if, you know, the president, oh, when he was asked that question, it was as if he was wishing that that kind of question would not be asked, because and his response showed that it is not something he thinks about all the time. Okay. Those girls Best, are Chike, sadly, time is not on our side. And this last question is a yes or no um, answer that I require from you. Now, the president has told us that the handover date of, of May 29th is sacrosanct and that elections will hold on March 28th. Um, yes or no, do you believe the president that handover, that date in our constitution, is sacrosanct to him and to his administration? You are trying to catch me in a trap. I will not say yes <laughs> or no, you know, but I will tell you it's uh, it's unknown. Okay. It's unknown. But so that, that, sure. Sadly, that is where we'll have to stop with you because time is not on our side. Um, you tried to avoid my trap, but when you are live <laughs> in the studio, you will not be able to get out of answering that question. We look forward to having you back with us here in Lagos, and we do wish you a safe trip. Welcome back to Good Morning Nigeria. Do hope you've had a lovely morning so far. Um, we have a very special someone um, in the studio with us. I'm talking talking about none other than Honourable Big Bash. Thank you very much. We're all in good spirit. We're all friends. You, normally, there's an issue with maybe Lorato <laughs> or there's Zoe. Yes. We're all, you know. Yes. Is, we will. It's time of peace. 
Yes, please, Calm. please, please. No so fighting today. We know, we know the troublesome people, right? Yes, yes, of course. Uh -huh. so which yes, means you two, you'll behave today. Yes, of course. I'm always being voting. You have to of someone. <laughs> the mm. I have of to light. say, though, that I'm very proud of Zoe. She's a very good, you know, she knows how to read the signs. She allowed us she to have step back. Yes. Well, you know, I'd like to run with her in an in election. So if I won, she would, you know, Thank definitely you leave without step. Contest. Well, Honourable, you know, we've been talking about the presidential media chat. And I was, as I was watching last night, I was thinking, if Honourable was here, I feel like he might have said this or he would have said that. But I wonder, would you ever agree to have, you know, a media chat? If there are some, you know, journalists watching and, and, and they believe they want to sit you down and ask you some, you know, questions about how, you know, you would rule uh, as president, would you agree to it? You see, thank you very much. Um, for me, I will not allow that. It really oh. feels like a media because chat. Because I slept <laughs> late yesterday watching the presidential media chat, you know. But I was not happy. Why Imagine not? people spreading a lot that the president does not eat chicken, he only eat turkey. But I want to tell them, if you spread the rumors a lot that uh, me, I'm not eating turkey. See, let me even tell you now. I don't know, spread it. You are free. Me, I eat tinuero. Those ever inside In goat. Shaki, round oh, the Oh, sorry, you are not, oh, you okay. don't know this thing. Okay. What does yeah. Shaki, oh, oh my God. So there's a, wow, I've never heard of that. A name that just covers oh, yeah. them all. Yes. Wow. Oh, good name. Oh, if you eat it, you see this beauty, <laughs> eh? To change to another thing there, so. Don't even you try are. it. You are, you are okay. Because you are okay. Now, I'm going to stop at Amalashita today. Thank you very much. Uh, with some Just, correct bedroom. Yes, uh, uh, that okay. is what I'm talking See about. See, Sanere. spread the rumors. <laughs> Me, in my own time, I take any rumors, anything acceptable. But don't talk about women. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. So wait, wow. you won't tell us who would be your first lady? No. Or what for her now. rights or her roles and responsibilities no, would be? No, for now. How do we work with okay. the president who tells us no for now? How do you expect people to follow you? Because you can't be a leader if you don't have a follow, if you don't have followers. So if you can't tell me what I want to know about your first lady, where you sleep, if your bed is worth 50 million naira or not, mm. then why should I vote for you? No, you know, why I don't want to say it for now is that, mm. you know, there are some ladies, they will follow you. The moment the money is finished, they will go back. But there are some ladies, when the money is not there, they will still follow you. Some, somebody like Zoe. She suddenly just know that there's so much money with me because I spent a lot of my campaign, you understand? That's why Femi she now came said, Kemi, Femi, Femi came in. And Imagine. This is, oh no, this is so funny. I mean, we're talking about media chat and somehow we're onto the subject of yes. women. We, and, we Femi. Always, yes. how does, and, and Femi, how does this happen? Do you think you're ready for, you know, honestly, Honorable? I'm always ready. People might be watching and thinking, I want to sit down with Honorable and ask him some questions. Are you ready for the sorts of questions they might ask you? I'm always Corruption. Ready. Yes. Corruption. corruption. Are you sure? I will stop corruption. Okay. But so the only thing there is, I'll chop, he chop. Fine. So you know, Honorable has walked himself into it. Tomorrow, when it is time for Honorable to be on set with us, we are going to have our very own Honorable Media Chat. We open up the phone <laughs> lines, ask the Honorable any question you want to ask him, and let him answer you <gasps> on the spot. I hope you revive. You go I, 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 hope and get I, I hope I will come because of what you just said now. <laughs> I hope I come. Well, no, well, don't scare him away. But I, you're up to the task, aren't you? If you say so. Of course Oh, you are. love is in the I'm air. Up to it. You're up to it. I'm looking at your face. I know. I'm, there I'm, 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 there I'm, I'm, I'm there is spirit. I'm up to it. No problem. No problem. Okay, Since I'm you, looking at you, that face. You can experiment. No problem. You can experiment. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Never experiment. Never experiment. Okay, well, I, I never experiment. We, it's that uh, we would have to end with Honourable Bash here, but unfortunately we do. Honourable needs to get to his book, so he's ready for you know the media chat tomorrow. Very important, happening exclusively here on Good Morning Nigeria. We bring you breaking news no one else is covering. <laughs> Very good morning.